Hi friends, welcome to today's video. So today's question is, there are 450 students in a school. 325 students play football, 175 play basketball and 50 neither play football nor basketball. How many students play both football and basketball? Okay, so what is the given question? There are 450 students in the school and 325 students play football. So let's represent it like number of persons who are playing football or number of students who are playing football is equal to 325 so nf is equal to 325 a number of students who are playing basketball is equal to 175 and 50 neither play football nor basketball so for these kind of questions always a diagrammatic representation by means of venn diagram will be very useful so let's try to draw a venn diagram so there are some students who neither play basketball nor football. So this square is representing the total number of students 450. And in that some students are playing basketball and some students are playing football. Okay. So let this circle represents the students who are playing football and this circle is representing the students who are playing basketball. Now what is given? 325 students play football and 175 students play basketball and 50 neither play basketball nor football. That means these, these students 50, 50 is coming outside this only, outside these two circles only 50 are coming. They are neither playing football nor basketball. So this is a diagrammatic representation. So we have to find out this one. How many students are playing both basketball and football. So this is what this uh, darkened portion or shaded portion is what we have to find out. How many students are playing both basketball and football. So there is a formula for doing these kind of questions. Always N of A intersection B where A and B are two events. A and B are two events. So number of students or number of participants who are participating in both event A and both event B will be equal to number of people for event A plus number of people for event B minus number of people for both A and B sorry number of A union B okay sorry the number of participants for the event either A or B will be equal to number of persons for the event A plus number of persons for the event B minus number of persons who are participating for both the events A and B this event can be anything like students who are participating in football basketball or it can be number of boys and girls likewise it, the A and B can represent any event. So here you can represent the formula like the number of students who are playing either football or basketball. So if union B, if is representing football and B is representing basketball. So number of students who are playing either football or basketball will be equal to number of students who are playing basketball plus number of students who are playing football minus number of students who are playing both football and basketball so this is the common formula which we will be using for all kind of questions so number of f union b number of students who are participating in either football or basketball will be equal to number of students participating in football plus number of students who are participating in basketball minus number of students who are participating in both football and basketball so here how many students are participating in either football or basketball or what is n of f union b n of f union b will be equal to 450 students are the total number of students and 50 are neither playing football nor basketball so that means the remaining 450 minus 50 is equal to 400 students will be playing either football or basketball so that is the meaning of that 50 are not playing basketball and football so here you can write n of f union b is equal to 400 so 400 is equal to 325 students are playing football and 175 are playing basketball minus the students who are playing both football and basketball that is what we have to find out number of f intersection b so what you will be getting finally your n of f intersection b is what you have to find out so it will be equal to 325 plus 175 minus 400 so which will be giving you n of f intersection b or students who are playing both football and basketball will be equal to 100 325 plus 175 is equal to 500 so 500 minus 400 is equal to 100 so 100 students are playing both football and basketball so this is the formula which you have to be very thorough with 
the number of persons who are participating in two events A and B will be equal to number of people who are participating in event A plus number of people who are participating in event B minus number of persons who are participating in both a and b so here you can understand like here you have to find out the total of these two circles okay so that means uh, this circle plus this circle but this uh, shaded portion is coming twice okay this is overlapping actually it forms a part of both f and both b it is coming twice so you have to subtract that so that is the meaning from this uh, figure itself you can understand how that formula has come so the shaded portion is coming twice this circle you are adding with this circle but the shaded portion will be coming twice it will be forming a part of this circle as well as a second circle so you have to subtract that okay now let's go to second question in an engineering college in a class of 50 students 22 enrolled for both chinese and french 32 enrolled for chinese if the students enrolled for at least one of the two subjects then how many students enrolled for only French and not Chinese? Okay, so here it is written that the total number of students is 50 and all these 50 students are enrolling for at least one of the two subjects. So, all the students will be studying either Chinese or French. Okay, so that means there is no box coming here. Okay, the, the, uh, the total of these two circles will be the total number of students. Okay, there are no such students who are not enrolled in either French or Chinese or we can say neither French nor Chinese there are no such students it is given like all the students enrolled for at least one of the two subjects so all the students will be studying either Chinese or French so these two circles will be enough for representation so let this circle represent the number of students who are studying Chinese and this circle is representing the number of students who are studying French what we have to find out what all are given it is given like 22 enrolled for both Chinese and French. So, this shaded portion is equal to 22. So, 22 is the shaded portion and 32 enrolled for Chinese that is given. So, 32 enrolled for Chinese means 22 are coming here. So, remaining 10 will be coming here. So, 10 plus 22 is equal to 32. That means 10 will be studying only Chinese and not French. Now, what do you have to find out? You have to find out how many students enrolled for only French and not Chinese or this is the portion that you have to find out. They have enrolled only for French and they are not studying Chinese. So, this portion you have to find out. So, let us apply our formula first. Number of students who are studying either Chinese or French N of C union F will be equal to number of students who are studying Chinese plus number of students who are studying French minus number of students who are studying both Chinese and French which will be represented by N of C intersection F. Now N of C union F what, what is that 50? It is given that it is a class of 50 students and students enrolled for at least one of the two subjects. So each student will be studying either Chinese or French or both. So 50 will be the C union F that means the total number of students who are doing either Chinese or French or both will be 50. It is already given. And what is number of students who are doing Chinese? It is 32. That is also given. Number of students who are doing French we do not know. So, we are representing it as N of F. Minus how many students are doing both Chinese and French? It is already given. It is 22. So, minus 22. So, what is number of students who are doing French? It will be equal to 50 minus 32 plus 22 which gives you 40. So, that means 40 students are doing French. In total, 40 students are doing French. So, what is the meaning of that? 40 means it will be comprising this 22 also. So, in order to find out this portion, you have to do French only. You have to find out the number of uh, students who are doing French only. So, it will be equal to 40 minus 22. So, this portion overlapping region is also a part of this French circle. So, in order to find out this portion alone, you have to subtract 22 from 40, which will be giving you 18. So, 18 students are enrolled for only French and not Chinese. Now, question number 3. In a company, 40 percentage of the employees speak Hindi and 70 percentage speak English. If 15 percentage of the employees speak both Hindi and English, what percentage of the employees speak neither Hindi nor English? 
so what is what is what is given and what you have to find out it is given like in a company the number of employees are not given 40 percentage of the employees will be speaking hindi 70 percentage will be speaking english and 15 percentage can speak both hindi and english so how many employees are not able to speak neither hindi nor english so that is the that is what we have to find out since everything is given as percentage so it will be better if we are considering or it is the solution you have to consider the number of employees is equal to 100 okay everything is given as percentage so let's consider the number of employees is equal to 100 so for your last your answer will also be in percentage only so some people are not speaking neither hindi are not speaking either hindi or english so there will be a square coming inside that square only the circles of hindi and english will come okay some people are speaking neither hindi nor english so a total one square will be there this will be representing the people who are not speaking both the languages this blue portion this blue portion will be representing the people who are not speaking both hindi and english and that is what we have to find out so this circle is representing hindi and this circle is representing english so what is given 40 percentage of the employees speak hindi okay and this portion is also given okay 15 percentage is speaking both hindi and english it is given so this yellow portion will be representing 15 okay we are taking the number of employees is equal to 100 so you can say 15 employees are speaking both hindi and english and this hindi circle will be 40 in total hindi circle will be 40 and english will be 70 so you have to find out how many employees speak neither Hindi nor English? So, let us apply our formula first. You know, number of people who can speak either Hindi or English, which is represented by H union E, will be equal to number of employees who speak Hindi plus number of employees who speak English minus number of employees who speak both Hindi and English. So, this is what you are going to find out first. Now, the number of persons who can speak either Hindi or English or both. Union, that is what you are finding out first. So, N of H will be equal to 40 plus 70 minus 15, which will be giving you 95. So, 95 people can speak either Hindi or English or both. So, how many people are there in total? Total, there are 100 people. So, that means 100 minus 95 is equal to 5 people cannot speak English and Hindi. So, 5 out of 100 or you can say your answer will be 5 percentage of the employees neither speak Hindi nor English. So, these kind of percentage questions means you just assume like the number of people is equal to 100. So, finally your answer will also be in percentage. Thank you for watching.